Hey friend, it's Emily here from Table Life Blog. Today I want to share a quick, easy Easter activity that you could do with your kids that would easily help you tie together the secular approach to Easter celebration with the real meaning of Easter, which is the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ on the cross. So if that's something you've had a hard time uh, tying together for your kids, then you're gonna love this. I wanna share with you an activity that we recently did called Sparkle Eggs. Now, I first want to share with you a little bit about a book that we read called The Sparkle Egg. So that's what it looks like if you'd like to find it maybe at your library or look for it at your favorite bookstore. But it's called The Sparkle Egg. And it's a story about a little boy who's feeling really guilty about cheating on a spelling test or he might not have been cheating. It could have just been that he lied about his grade. I can't remember for sure. But the point is, is that the little boy was feeling really just bogged down because of some sin that he had in his life. Now, what his parents did, they gave him the opportunity to decorate some Easter eggs. And you know, a lot of us like to dye eggs with our kids and decorate them, but this specific activity he decorated the eggs to look like a cross. You know, he had a design that he gave them. He decorated them, and then his parents asked him to put in a little slip of paper inside of that egg, uh, something that represented that sin that he felt he needed forgiveness for. And so, you know, with a younger kid, you could do this by having them draw a picture. An older kid could write the word. Whatever works better um, is totally fine. But regardless, they put in that little slip of paper, and what happens is the child, a little boy in a story, he puts that in his Easter basket the night before Easter. So you've got the sparkle egg, the nicely decorated egg in there. It's got that sin inside. When he wakes up to check out his Easter basket, he sees all the other goodies that are in there, but he goes to open up the sparkle egg, and guess what? That sin is gone. That sin is gone because Easter is such a focus of how Jesus takes our sins away and how Jesus makes right all the things that we've done wrong. And so just like the tomb was empty when Jesus rose from the grave, that egg is empty. That sin is no longer there. And it's a great um, visual reminder of what Easter is all about for your kids. So real quickly, I'll show you what we did with ours. I'm not going to take them out of the little bucket, but you get the idea. We've got basically little plastic eggs, okay? And I'm a brave soul. We used glue and glitter on ours. And I just let my kids draw out a little design that they'd like to do. And they drew it out and then we used glue and we just glittered them. There was glitter on the carpet, glitter on the table, glitter on our hands. But hey, such is life sometimes. But regardless, they had a great time decorating them. Now on Easter, we're gonna do the same activity with our kids. We'll take our sparkle eggs out and we'll ask them to put in a little slip of paper that represents something that they feel like they need forgiveness for. And we're gonna do the same thing with them. This was a great book. It was a great idea. And I'm looking forward to implementing this with my kids. Now, if you're not feeling up to glitter and glue, uh, you could easily use like little adhesive stickers or jewels to, um, to decorate the eggs. That would be a much cleaner and sane approach to decorating them. Regardless of how you choose to do it, I hope that you check out the book, The Sparkle Egg, and that you use this activity. It's a great way to tie in, you know, the fun, more secular, lighthearted aspects of Easter with the things that really matter. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it out. If you do, I'd love for you to share some pictures with me. Um, you know, feel free to tag me on social media. I'd love to see it. So anyway, that's it. Go ahead, get your eggs, your glitter. Go ahead and uh, get all your supplies out and get ready to make sparkle eggs with your kids. So that's it for today. I hope to see you again soon. Until then, happy homeschooling, friend.